This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and... I try very hard just to just ignore absolutely every single one of my fans at all times, but the, the cry has become too loud. The people have demanded it. And I hate it. I'm... Uh, ah! Grixis Reanimator. Yeah, we're playing it. I never did find where the deck originated, and I saw, like, speculative comments, but nobody was sure and dropped a link, or if they did, they got drowned out in everything else, or the fact that links are banned in my chat comments automatically kept me from seeing the link. <laughs> See how that works? Uh, so I can say I made it. I invented this. Uh, not a single other person I played on ladder played it and self-milled themselves to the point where I saw their whole deck. No, I, I had built this 100% me. Just, yeah, it's all CGB list here. What are we doing with it? We are reanimating Velamachus Lorehold. Cheating this card into play is good enough to get cards banned in Historic. Let's do more with it in Standard. So this dragon has Flying Vigilance and Haste. When it attacks, you look at a number of card. You look at seven, right? You always look at seven, yeah. And you may cast an instant or sorcery with mana value less than or equal to Velamachus Lorehold's power from among them without paying its mana cost. So typically, with no alterations to the power, uh, we're talking about a card that costs five mana or less. You know what costs five a lot in the decks? Reanimation spells. You know what's a good way to get Velamachus Lorehold onto the battlefield? Reanimation spells. So that's where these cards come in. Return upon the tide, an unbreakable bond. Speed is everything. The ability to foretell return upon the tide, then make a turn three discard play like a thrill of possibility or cathartic reunion, and turn four reanimate the dragon is everything in the deck. Because if you have to wait till turn five to do it, it's probably too slow. So don't worry about that flavor text about if it's an elf create two elf warrior tokens. We don't want no elves even though she looks like she's having a lovely, lovely funeral. But we don't want no elves, we want dragons. And then the other reanimation card is Unbreakable Bond. The way that this deck absolutely turns the corner and dunks on aggro is by returning creatures and putting a lifelink counter on the creature. So your hasty 5-5 flying dragon with lifelink is considerably stronger uh, because of that big life swing. Plus it has vigilance, so it can block again too, kind of instant bane slayer. Pretty amazing. Now, another fun thing about the lifelink counter from Unbreakable Bond. Heartless Act can't target a creature with a counter on it. A lifelink counter, that counts. So you do stop your opponent who's holding up that dreaded two mana Heartless Act with Unbreakable Bond. So it's not just flavor text against control or removal heavy matchups. So those are the reanimation spells. Not only do you use them to get the lore hold, you also hit them off the lore hold and use them to cast on your other reanimation targets. I have one Godzilla, the primeval champion, Titanith Rex, one Godzilla, the doom inevitable, Yadara wandering monster, and two copies of Coma, the Cosmo Serpent. This, this card is really good with a lifelink counter as well, and is the main card that you want to reanimate. But because uh, these are legendary, I did want a little bit of variety in my reanimation spot. So that's how the primetime champion and the doom inevitable made their way in against any kind of is it deck or mono red deck and 11 11 is just going to finish the job and the 8 8 that can come down with haste or get reanimated with haste to also keep pressure on the opponent as you're attacking them every turn with these hasted reanimator creatures can sometimes finish the job as well against aggro Another thing that they probably can't beat, and I've learned this playing Sultai, if you just go Cultivate into Shadow's Verdict, that was often the game against Mono White. Just game over, right there. In With this deck, if you do the thing where you seize the spoils into reanimation spell on Velamachus and attack and hit Shadow's Verdict, because we have four in the deck, then you you get the same effect, but with a 5-5 flying dragon attacking them as well, sometimes with lifelink. So that is, that is putting the ultimate smackdown on the aggro mages for sure. And in order to discard our monsters, we have a bunch of cards that discard things like Seize the Spoils, Prismari Command, Thrill of Possibility, Cathartic Reunion, and I have two copies of Mystical Dispute to force our dragons onto the battlefield in the matchups where that really, really matters. Maybe it will come up 
in the video. You'll have to wait and see. This is streak number 863 of me releasing a YouTube video every single day about Magic the Gathering. If you enjoy it, please hit the join button below and consider becoming a member. There are exclusive perks, including getting my deck list a day early. And I do try to thank you in a video. So we're going to give a quick thanks to the members who have signed up recently. So this shout out for Jacob, this man, Juan, Chaos for You, Kenway, Devin, and Spain Train. Thank you very much for you guys for signing up over the last few days and supporting the channel. Uh, and please, uh, if any of you are really enjoying it and you have a few dollars around, then go ahead. But if you don't have a few dollars, I understand. Trust me, watching the content is supporting the content. So stay till the end or you'll get to see the stats and my reflections on this Grixis reanimator pile and where it sits in the current meta. So let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Why am I doing this? What am I doing? Does anybody else have these feelings when they queue up the, a brew? Ah, uh, man. It's too slow, right? It's too slow. Better, closer, warmer. All right. On the draw, Mystical Dispute probably isn't a keeper, so we can put that away. We can go with Thrill Reunion and try to find a reanimation jutsu. Or we could put the Verdict away and try to hit it later with the Velomachus. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yep, off to the races. Do we make the blue mana? I don't think we actually make the blue mana here. So we need to find a way to make a treasure. We need to find a reanimator spell. We need our opponent to pass the turn without playing creatures that attack us. Well, we failed in that regard, didn't we? All right. Let's dig deep. Play the sorcery speed one now. Why? What is my life? Why do I play magic? This is so stupid. Seriously, there, there is no point to anything. Um, all right, so next turn they're going to make four angels, and we're not going to have a four-man reaction reanimation spell and we didn't make a treasure so we lose why am i doing this why the heck am i doing this this might be the worst deck i've ever played in a ranked queue ever all right no big monster so we'll have to come across one so we're probably going to start by foretell return upon the tide then we'll probably end up discarding like a cauldron's gift to a thrill of possibility Opponent's got a Mori and a Savior. Did I put out an Mori deck recently? What was it? <laughs> it all bleeds together, okay. Um, oh yeah, was it? It was Winota. It was Winota. So if we draw land, are we better off foretelling this or trying to draw it into land so we can see? Yeah, we need to draw it into a creature and land. So we need to use Thrill here, not Return. Because Seize has to then discard the creature, and then we play the reanimation spell. Oh, come on, dogs. What? What? You suck. All right. Um, uh, eh. Draw two. Okay, thing to discard. Now we need land off the top. We need land off the top, untapped. Fine. You stupid piece of trash game. Oh, two lands on top, cool. All right. Still on the move, but now we're going to take an extra turn of death, which if they have Winota is just game before we get to bring back Velmachus. Please miss your land drop. I miss my land drop, it's only fair.
Come on, man. Just attack with your creatures. Just, and play your cards. Come on, dude. Well, this has been a disaster. Let's see if we're dead. Okay. Down to six. Opponent did not unleash the power of Winota. We got a green pathway and we're buying Umori. That's sus. That's pretty weird. All right. Unbreakable Bond. Velmachus. We've got a shot. We've got a shot. Life Linky Dragon. And if we hit a Shadow's Verdict. But we only have one creature in the graveyard, so more reanimation spells will not help us. <laughs> the only option. The only option. Shadow's Verdict and Gain 5. There are no more creatures, though. If this gets exiled somehow. Can you exile it? Not, I mean, not with a lot of cards that you can run in an Amori deck, right? Like, what creature could exile this? I can't think of one. There's no Banishing Priest. Sigrid God Favored. Got there. Elite Spellbinder, okay. How are you going to cope with this dragon? Seize the spoils. Out of there. Stonebinder's familiar. Woof. All right, so we want to try to get a creature in the graveyard, so we should do a little draw discard first. In case we had a reanimation spell with the Velimachus, we want a good monster to discard. Looks like we won't find one. Okay, we know that there are six cards on the bottom of the deck that are not spells, so we want to leave those there. So we don't want to crack this Fable Passage. We do want another black attack and hit the verdict. <laughs> How do you like getting Shadows a verdict every turn? Do you like it? Do you like it, Umori deck? I think the Pure Creature deck has an issue there. Top 200. Battling it out. Let's let's go. Um, on the play, no way to discard these. But we have a mystical dispute. And we have some mana. No. Hand just doesn't do anything. This, however, does the thing our deck needs to do. One, two, three. Might take a little while, but it gets there. Man, I can't get used to doing all of these mulligans. It's so many. I'm mulliganing so many hands. And every time I'm like, value, I'm oozing and bleeding value. And it's like, no, it's okay. I don't need value. I have dragons. Got to channel that Timmy vibe. You know, the one I, I, I refuse to cultivate the rest of the time. All right, draw Prismari Command. The fans, the fans, they're everywhere today. Although, what is this? It's disgusting flex of power. Of course I like it. Alright, Prismari Command. Make a treasure, draw two, discard two. Unbreakable Bond, hit him with the lore hold. They're not doing anything, though. Why aren't you doing anything? Okay. Strong, but no land. Do we go for it? Can they sit there forever? Is this going to resolve? All right, we got more reanimation jutsus. So, Brazen Borrower is what I'm thinking, but 
Okay, and we're playing it. That means they probably have another. Or they would save that borrower. Some kind of a flash pile. All right. So, we'll go for... Man, we're still missing double black, aren't we? Awkward. But we'll go for it. Let's make things happen. Attack. Bounce. 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 Of course. All right. Let's wait till their turn. So how long can they keep it up? How interactive is their version of adventures? Does it play like 15 counter spells and 15 bounce spells? Like, what are you doing? Innkeeper. Great. What else you got? Nothing. Okay. Let's get... Let's have a little thrill of possibility. It's not another reanimation spell. That is. All right. Bond. Bond. Hello, Mr. Bond. How off, how many times can you stop this? With how fine the shuffler is? Infinite times. <laughs> Infinite times. <laughs> okay. You're just cheating. You're just cheating. And again. My lord, you are the most obnoxious mage I have ever seen. I mean, how lucky do you have to be to draw three Brazen Borrowers and Decisive Denial? That's like half the interactive cards in your deck that actually matter to my deck. Yep, time to do more stuff than that. Oh, interesting. So if we had black mana, we could just verdict this, but since we don't... Here we go again. Let's go. Ugh. All right. Bond, coma. Seems good. All right, so we make snake. What do we do with snake? The opponent might be able to get their own coma if they play the Luca, And they've been having trouble with mana. So, let's make this hard. You floated a red. You let it you let it expire. Why? Why did you let it expire? You were so careful to float that red then you didn't use it. That's weird, bro. That's weird. The fourth Brazen Borrower. It has to be. It has to be the fourth Brazen Borrower. The shuffler is fine. It's not at all rigged to make the games harder for you. Not even a little. All right, what do we do? What do we do now? So we can kill this thing. We can also kill their mana creature. We also have a life linking coma. The opponent might be thinking, hey, I'm going to bone crush my own uh, creature. I'm going to block and then bone crush my own innkeeper to keep the life gain from happening. And that works. So let's make them do it. They do not do it. Well, don't know how they're going to win now. Seize, drop off the lore hold. If we hit land and the treasure, we can cast another lore hold just from our hand next turn. 
Okay, we draw Coma and Passage. Passage can get our other black for a verdict, if it even comes to that. And we've got the Prismari command here that we probably should kill the Visionary. Just cut them short on mana. Really short on mana. You can't Decisive Denial with a red mana here. Fire Prophecy there. Get rid of it so they can't loot. Drop you guys into the bin. Draw my third Shadow's Verdict. Make a Critter. Keep tapping down your mountain. Keep playing land destruction. This could be double Bone Crusher for the win. Nope. Okay, Raisin flashes in. Here they come. Down to four. At nine. So if we play this and we hit a removal spell, we win? Or we just tap the borrower? That works. White mana off the treasure. Say hello to my little dragon friend. All right. Let's put some stops in the combat here. We're going to need all of the perfect timing. Resolve the trigger. Whiff. It's been that kind of game, but whatever. Gonna win anyway, I think. The fifth Brazen Borrower, that doesn't require blue mana. Let's see it. All right, <laughs> holy cow. What a weird game. What a weird deck. All right, thrills and verdicts and commands, just no big creatures and no reanimation. Re no reanimation, but we're up against Luris. So they might fill our graveyard for us. We just have to draw the reanimation spell. Do do mountain. Rune crab. It's an interesting one. We don't want them countering this. All right, will we find reanimation jutsus? If we don't find the reanimation spell, we're not gonna win. So please cut me right to that, immediately. Immediately cut me to that card. Interesting. Red, red, black, black, blue, blue. All right. This could come in really handy. But we do have to still find our reanimators. Oh, there they go. Cool. <laughs> As they counter this Prismari command, I'm so bad off, right? They won't, but it's such a better threat next turn because we can follow it up with a Shadow's Verdict. So let's go for this. All right, they're like, you can have that, you can have that. Hey! Now what? I feel like we should go get a land while there's still land to get. See what land there is to get. Might affect what we do this turn. Okay, we got double blue. 
And we have double black in the future. Okay. So, we can Prismari Command on their turn, return upon the tide on our turn. We can foretell this, and then Thrill of Possibility, and then return the next turn with Dispute Backup. But I think we just pass here and go for the Prismari Command. Okay, they go for this. If they counter the Prismari Command on their turn, we will play a Shadow's Verdict on their turn. Or on our turn. And if they don't counter it, we have Mystical Dispute backup for what we want to do. So they need two counter spells to be feeling good. All right, 26 cards in the... Do have problems, there's no question. Okay, they've got a Wind Robber. Treasure acquired. See if the opponent can have double counter here. They might also just have Heartless Act, which would be devastating. Draw a card. Attack. They got nothing. Bond. Mr. Bond. Coma. Hello. <laughs> they got nothing? Oh, rogues, you're just a pile of thought thieves. All right, what are we at? 20. So Fable Passage is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 12. I think I have to let this go. Third Rune Crab is not good. Not good. Not a fabled passage. It can't be a fabled passage. Not a fabled passage. Okay, it's a land. But it's not a fabled passage. Yeah, we can do this. Buys Lurus. 15 life. I think we can find it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So if we get through, we win. Unfortunately, unfortunately for us, wait a minute, 13. Okay, I see 13. Oh, we don't want to blow up our own 3-3 three, three here. So what do we do? We're probably going to verdict no matter what at some point. Do we do it before or after? Like, if we can force our opponent into certain blocks, is that good enough? The opponent might also... We might just hit another Prismari Command, right? Let's see what's left in the deck. Deck has... We're not going to hit another Prismari Command. Um, another Return Upon the Tide. Not much. Deck has eight land in it. So the hits are not good. So we're doing this. That was good enough. <laughs> the opponent, the opponent's like, okay, all right. I guess I'm not gonna win without my little army. Tank, 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 tank. Make play. They scoop. Classic, classic. A Prismari command we can't cast. A bond and a verdict on the play. If we draw a blue source, this could go perfectly. Am I being too optimistic? Probably. But it's got everything but the fat fatty and the blue source. All right, I'm trying it. If I draw the blue source, I'm in good shape. If I draw some other card draw, I'm in good shape. Definitely a sus hand. 
Snow covered swamp. Hateful Eidolon. Let's go. Nice. Can foretell that. Use our mana this turn. If they have a Rankle, we're in trouble, but otherwise Shadow's Verdict should be solid here. The Quill. The Quill is here. What do you get? In the dark, you get Pest Summoning? Sure. Ow. Mm, starting to look cringe. Starting to look bad over here. So, you're going to summon those pests? Absolutely. Alright, just no rankle. Nice. Got, so got, got dicey there for a second, but here we are. No rankles. Timurite calls the dead. We, we take that. That's, that's fine. Alright, so we're going to make a treasure draw two, discard two. See if we can find a big creature. Opponents playing around Shark Typhoon because they're big brain. I mean, I don't know what I think I'm playing either. I've been here in this spot. I don't know what I think I'm playing. <laughs> Alright, no big creature. Don't need two verdicts. One should be enough. Still no big creature. Will we hit a land? I think we wait one more turn on this verdict because our opponent's going to get another creature from the Timmy anyway. Or probably will. I guess we can kill that with the command. Let's just verdict now. Let's be done with it. Oh, we're suiting up? Okay. Prismari Command can might kill the artifact then. We could just try to keep the threats down and wait for a monster. Right? Instead of trying to turbo monster. Alright. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um... We have the return, so we'll keep digging. We'll keep digging. Triple black and go. Gain some life, do some scry. Why not? Could deny it. Could deny it with the command there. I don't know if that's worth it. They might try to put another piece of pants on this thing. Dig, dig, dig. Still not finding. They have five mana available. I'm just gonna keep the thrills. We just gotta dig here. All right, it's gonna get, gonna get dicey. 20 cards deep, no fatties. The deck just plays this infinite game with itself of how am I gonna draw today? All right, we could discard two to draw three or discard one to draw two. This is better because one of the, the thrills combined get us four deep. The reunion just gets us one. All right, great. Keep it coming. Coma? And now we can't discard you. <laughs> nice. Um, I guess we'll cast you next turn. That's the plan. We're going to cast Coma. Our opponents rebuilt their board. Too bad it'll cost us all of the treasures. They have Demonic Embrace, yeah. And we are just back to getting killed a few turns after the Shadow's Verdict. That's awkward. But I guess we can cycle it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can still play the Coma if we don't draw like a Verdict or something of that nature. Nice. Good job. Alright. Coma time. Let's hold this in case we draw a Cathartic Reunion.
No. No. All right. Uh, I'll tap you. What a stupid game. Okay, can they go land and brace for lethal? I see eight. I don't see nine. They need another land. Oh, wait. Is that enough? Yeah, that was enough. Never mind. They didn't need embrace. They had favor. Same amount. That game was so stupid. Yorian. Let's try it. Can't feel good about this. Their deck is usually built to be reactive and shut me down. So, shut me down, they probably will. Let's let them make their decision, then resolve our thrill. We don't want them to Jwari disrupt it or something. Shadow's Verdict we can't use. Awkward. Opponent with a perfect start so far. We have a clumsy one, but we just need, like, some reanimator. Looks like we're not going to find any ramp, though. No, we are not. We're going to turn late on getting to foretell our return upon the tide. My god, these decks just... Ugh, they make me so angry. It seems like the hands that everybody like talks about just never happened to me. But maybe I'm, who knows? Who knows? Do I let a land go and hang on to a verdict that I can't really use? It's not any good against them, right? But it's better than more land, which I'm never going to actually get, get to use. Maybe I'm supposed to hold on to one of my lore holds, since having two in the graveyard doesn't really matter, in case I can cast one someday. What you gonna do? Haven by Yorian. Nope. Leaving all the mana open. So that seems like a Heartless Act. But Unbreakable Bond gets around Heartless Act. Because it puts a lifelink counter on the card. So I guess we'll give it a try. Man, the crap people run in their decks. <laughs> <laughs> and they get away with it, man. Makes me so angry. Alright. They're gonna chill on this, huh? Well, we can play this next turn. Actually, we can do this into this. Is that a good use of our mana, though? Does it really... I mean, I guess so. Gets us deeper in the deck. You know they have something because they're not... They're holding up this mana. Try again. Attack? We get to attack? Alright, uh... Do we discard two and dig three, or do we make a treasure here? What would we discard? It's not the greatest hit in the world, is it? Um... We could discard the Godzilla to get back, it's another hasty creature. But I was just planning to cast it next turn. 
I guess if it's in the graveyard, we kind of get, we just get it back cheaper. Okay. More of the same. Extinction event. No ultimatum yet. Not enough mana to play their Yorian, so that's going fine. So, we still have a lore hold down there. Yes, we do. We also know that we put many cards that are not a re another reanimator or a good hit on the bottom, so we don't want to reshuffle. We have to pay five for this. Really? Really? Greedy bastard. Coma. All right, we have to draw another reanimator. Or make the treasures to cast the coma. Fail. Wait, I only have one red? That's insane. That's not good. Dragon. Dragon. Do I go face? If I get back... So, if I find another reanimation spell, I get back Coma and I tap the Ugin on upkeep. I think that's the line that wins games. Oh, well, we found where all the good spells were hiding. Yeah, you better scry good. Our opponent's apparently just playing Sultai Control. Sultai Control. And we got a long shot, but I don't think it'll actually work. We just... I'm sure that they're going to have an extinction event or something here. Especially when they keep on top with their omen. But this was our shot to try to win. Okay. You got another one? Okay. So you're telling me there's a chance. How do I get a little extra damage? Another reanimation spell would do it. All the bonds are right there, but see, this is an 8 8 that doesn't get quite over the hump of Pelucranos. Not good. Not good. Gonna be coma. Now the opponent can fight in response here if they see it. I 
We're dead either way, right? I guess we could still... It depends what they do with the Ugin. They are really low life. They could minus the Ugin for the ultimate, or they could try to sweep our board. They could also whiff with the Ugin, which is very unlikely, but things happen. Okay. How do we get there? We, we don't, right? I guess we have to reanimate this and then somehow kill the Yorian, which isn't going to happen. Interesting naming odd there with a binding coming back. I wouldn't call that a good play. I do wish they'd cast another spell. You'd think with all that that they would. All right. Enough. Enough. Oh, that game was rough. Made me very sad. Opponent clinging in top 1200. Uh, this could be a good hand. Godzilla. We're going to need to draw into the reanimation spell. And land. Don't forget land. Since we have seized the spoils, I don't think we need to foretell this. I think we can just thrill. Land? Hello? Land? Getting nervous. Alright, they didn't counter it at least, but my god, the deck is on a mission to do things the hard way. We've drawn 15 cards. Three land. It's uh, not, not a high percentage, you know? Look at the opponent. Look at them doing the Yorian things. Now, if we had drawn the land, we should be lining up our reanimation spell for this next turn after the seas. We really needed it. Because if you can punish their cultivate turn, you might win. <sighs> if they just hold mana open here, and remove our Velomachus lore hold. Nope. But we do have the bond. Remember, bond and its lifelink counter get around Heartless Act, which is the most common solution. Opponent gonna slam a nightmare. Okay. Uh, Exile and Graveyard looks scary. Let's get Unbreakable. Let's attack. Let's get Unbreakable Part 2. <laughs> Better have an Extinction Event. Shadow's Verdict isn't going to do it. <laughs> that, is, that is a lethal... as a lethal threat. That looks like you're checking the casting cost for your Extinction Event, are you? If we draw a land, we have a few lines. We can slam Godzilla and attack. We can seize, discard Godzilla, then reanimate Godzilla and attack. All right, we got a binding. Something's going down. It turns out to be the 11-11. Draw land. We didn't do it. Um, we can reanimate the Godzilla, but doesn't have haste. What if we thrill? If we draw into a land, we got him, right? What about if we seize? Same story. Same story. I guess Seas is a better setup for the future if we just end up with a treasure. Land. Let's 
go. Will we kill him? Not quite lethal, but Prismari Command could finish the job. Easy. Easy. That's what we want it to do against Sultai. And we are back for the post-game wraps, and let's check the statistics powered by untapped.gg. Link in description. It does support the channel. Please download the companion app and try it out for free. And what do we got? What do we got? What are we doing over here? Five and three. 63% win rate for our Grixis reanimator pile, which 69% on the play. Nice. 38% on the draw. Not something i would call too surprising that game against mono black i think i should have played a more of a control game i had multiple shadows verdicts i think i discarded one why the heck did i do that um seemed right at the time but i think i could have done better and uh yeah uh the very first game i played of the day was a loss to mono white but i realized immediately when i played that game i had some flaws in my deck building so i made some changes to the deck right after that so that loss you know whether you want to count it and then there's sultai and sultai does have the tools to beat this deck handily when they draw their interactive pieces or they ramp into their ultimatum and their board state is unattainable but i think there's more to the match than meets the eye and if you get your best draw i think that you can give their best draw a hard time so mm, this matchup probably going to be close and interesting anybody who's just trying to play some creatures and win that way is gonna get smashed pretty hard i was surprised that we got to battle our way through four copies of brazen borrower when we face uh, the teamer deck and uh, against rogues having that mystical dispute at just the right time made a huge difference so i strongly recommend that you check out grixis reanimator if this is the kind of nonsense you're into me probably not gonna play it again uh there's a mardu version i'm looking at and might try out because there's some other there's just some other cards i would play in the deck i want thrilling uh discovery is a card that i think is a could be unlocked and you could actually cast Velimachus more easily. But most of the time reanimator decks are good for a little, they're just good for a little jog around the meta and then you put them away and you put them back in the closet because they tilt me too much. I'm always drawing the wrong half. But for some people, they're the kitty's pajamas. And if that is you, I think this is a great build to take and try even on ladder. You can probably get to mythic because the matchups against aggro while very polarized are very good. So enjoy that on that note thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please hit subscribe many of you have not why not you're still here hit subscribe no big deal all it is is daily mtg content that you might just enjoy and uh, uh to everybody who is subscribed thank you very much consider hitting the join button and becoming a member if you can afford it to support the content i appreciate it and as thank you for watching this video as always i'll see you in the next video you're cool.